Yo, so I'm back with anime fighters. I have six shiny researchers and I finally have 20 shards. I got the last one, I think like an hour ago, roughly. But uh, yeah, I really hope that my strong three gets carried over to this one because that's gonna be a hefty damage increase. Rob Overdrive. 80, okay. So 82E. Oh, that's a big increase. I didn't. Oh, I didn't check how much damage he had or the shiny researcher had before. But I think close to 50E, if I remember correctly. So this is very good. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. I am very tempted to roll on him to maybe get like uh, either like tank or giant or a uh, mythical but i'm so worried to lose uh, strong three so i don't know i'd only have eight to tokens for that and i don't know how to get more i don't think you can buy them no so i think you get them from dungeons but i'm not sure but i am going to see if uh, equip are my stats yeah that's 100% better oh yeah I'm pretty sure that's much better but I don't I'm not completely sure so I am actually yeah I'm gonna go make him shiny real quick and I'm gonna try a dungeon once again and uh, then I'm probably gonna just stop recording and come back once I get the uh, the shiny which i'm like 70k summons away from so it's gonna take maybe yes yeah six seven hours maybe so ooh, 29 that's very good i am also gonna go to hero university to use these four on these damn that was so close oh and damn it protagonist would have been so so good. A strong one. I might keep that for him. I mean that does make him stronger than my legendary with strong one. While also being two levels lower. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that and then go to the abyss and try to get a nice and good quirk or trait on this one. I'd love a leg or a mythical one, but I doubt it. I am not gonna go with speedy. I'd rather want damage increase. Ooh, okay. So, giant. I don't... I'm gonna check real quick, but I don't remember if that increases damage or just the size. Doubles the fighter size, allowing to deal 65% more damage. Ooh, that's actually very good. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, the, they deal roughly the same damage. What? Huh? What is your talent? Is this the talent machine? Appraisal, yeah. What is your... Ooh, 10 on base damage. That's pretty nice. You must have some low. Yeah, 3. But 10 on ult damage and attack speed. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Also, I did max these two out. Uh, my two best fighter fighters up until I got uh, my boy Rob, which I will actually max out. This is the wrong one, but I could do this. And then Destiny Land, I believe, is where it's at. Yeah. So I can go Rob Overdrive, select, max, 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 max. 90, and I have that, yeah? I don't. Oh, I have like, um, no, wait, I do, I do. Hold on. And max out Rob. Oh yeah, I, I was looking for an, an animation, but I forgot it doesn't do that. So now you should be all ass. Yeah. So now equip best and it deals 100e and it's not max level yet. And my unstoppable with strength 3 deals 1.5c while max. He does have max base damage too. Ooh, I feel like his damage is going to be very good. 
but yeah i'm gonna go put these three into my incubators or whatever they're called and uh, i'm gonna keep um, keep uh, rolling on and getting the uh, uh, secret pity and i'll be back once i've gotten that so uh, yeah bye bye for now so i just ran a dungeon with the uh, this team and these leveled up a bit and uh, yeah i managed managed to actually beat it i'm pretty sure this is the boss so i assume that that uh, treasure chest room over there is the last room and once i've uh, uh, gotten all the chests in there i assume that's gonna be it but uh, yeah i found the boss room and had the key within like nine minutes but i wanted to completely uh, just ransack the entire uh, dungeon to see if there were more than two treasure rooms which there were there were four and then five with this one so i got uh, i had quite a lot of uh, fruits which is very nice i also figured out that uh, the world doesn't matter at all it only matters for these uh, shards so from now on i'm i'm only gonna do whistle or abyss or dungeons to get the whistle shards because well that's the best best one and uh, ones that i actually need but uh, yeah i do also get a achievement increase your incubator max level by one that's good there's two more of these i believe uh, there is uh, yeah you one for completing five and one for doing 20 oh never mind there's two more for 50 and 100 so you can get an extra five levels that's good but i don't know if medium or like there's a difficulty difference in small medium and large i assume there is because of the amount of rooms so i'm just gonna go ahead and say that i can only beat medium for now but yeah got a few uh, reroll tokens so that's pretty nice a lot of fruits and uh, a lot of these which i might just use for exp i mean i do have uh, ultimate hekka or uh, uh, ui goku so could be useful for re-rolling re on him but uh, the only traits i would want on him is like lucky or uh, draconic or solid gold just something where he isn't meant to be a main damage unit yes the, and just a support or something like that but yeah i this is it for the little clip i am still not uh, at 100k i'm pretty much halfway so yeah i just wanted to show that i can actually beat a dungeon now but yeah see you once i've gotten the secret for real this time bye bye yo what's up i am one summon away from getting the secret pity uh, i'm i'm quite high we're gonna get princess abba or abba however you pronounce her name and uh, i was about to pop a uh, shiny boost but uh, i not pretty i'm not sure it works like that in this game where uh, your shiny chance has uh, or affects the secret pity so i'm not i'm not gonna risk it but let's get the secret Never mind, I was not one summon away. Oh, no, I was two, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> I forgot that the pit you had to reach the pit there for it to work. My bad. Okay, so my first secret 45E. Damn, okay. Third strongest. Except I have these three, you know, incubating, but still that's pretty nice i am gonna roll all my traitor rolls on her so first i'm gonna start with hero university hope to get something good oh do i use shards uh, i am gonna use the shards shards i think i'm not gonna try to get more robs more rob overload or whatever it's called i think i'm just gonna try to keep getting princess abbas i i think that's the best way but uh, yeah let's Let's hope for something good. Maybe a Time Lord would be amazing. Okay, we got nothing in Hero University. However, we do have like eight more Requiem. We have more purple. We have four purple 
rerolls, so hopefully it gives something better. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind getting a Geni Genius 3 on like this one, or like on my first one, because then I'll just shock her into a incubator and get her up to max level and then reroll again. But yeah, I really hope for like a mythical or secret. But yeah, let's uh, let's go. Mm, giant. I am kind of tempted on taking that. I might actually take that because I only have two more, I believe. Yeah, and I don't trust that I will get something better. I'm very, very worried I'm gonna get like Diligent 2 or Speedy or something worse than that. But uh, yeah, we have a giant secret now. Pretty happy about it. I. I am gonna go to... Uh, where am I meant to go to? Oh yeah, um, Chimera Jungle, I believe. Uh, yep, I am gonna make her shiny. Wait, uh, four... No, actually no, I have 302. I don't need to sheep out. If I fail this, I'm quitting the game forever. Alright, yeah, there we go. Shiny Princess Abba with the giant. She has... 130e damage with only level 351 that also reminds me i do gotta go to destiny island and ma max her out hey she already has pretty good ones but uh, only 24 that's cheap but yeah bam she is now a s plus and pretty much as good as she can as she can be with the giant so yeah i think what i'm gonna do now is just uh, I'm probably gonna level up a incubator, uh, which is Slayer Army is the most recent one. I haven't leveled this one up. I can get it to max, which is nice. And I'm gonna put her in there, select, and bam. Now I am gonna go and AFK in the time chamber and put on my draconic team, which I removed. There we go. Now I'm gonna fk here overnight i'm gonna try to fall asleep and wake up before 8 a.m because i want to buy some pepsi uh, and yeah hopefully by the time i wake up these uh, guys should all be max maybe not abba but i don't know i am gonna come back if she's max and check her damage okay yeah so that confirms my theory time chamber works on limit breaker that's very nice but yeah i'm gonna come back tomorrow or technically later today and see what her damage is but yeah i'll see you then bye bye for now